guys welcome to my channel so today's video is going to be a bit of a mini unboxing of some of the liberty items i purchased on a recent trip to london where i did a bit of a video in liberty what i'll do is i'll link in the corner and down in the description the liberty vlog that i did if you're not familiar with liberty it's a luxury department store in london the building itself is just stunning it's a heritage building it's beautiful um and it has all different types of products inside clothing beauty homeware etc etc so it's a bit of a myriad of things um i've been going for a while and actually liberty was the first beauty advent calendar i ever purchased and from then on it got me into the kind of addiction of um, getting beauty advent calendars um, if you're not familiar with beauty advent calendar I'll, I'll link the playlist and details below as well um, but every year is a treat to myself I've always got myself at least one beauty advent calendar and actually last year I got quite a few <laughs> so um, they're just good fun really um, but yeah and also they're usually quite cost effective for the things that you've got inside um, but yeah, I love be be I love beauty in general, but um, also Liberty, the department store, I've always thought is just stunning as a piece of architecture, but also the products that they have inside and the brands, I personally find they're a lot more niche um, and you can often find really lovely luxury brands you've never heard of um, as opposed to going to more established luxury department stores. Um, and that's half the fun, just finding new brands that I've never heard of. So um, today is just a few bits that um, I thought I'd unbox. It was quite a short um, trip to London and I wasn't in Liberty for that long. It would be great if you guys could subscribe, uh, if you just click the button below. And if you like the videos I'm making, it'd be great if you could click the like button. Um, and comment below if you guys have ever actually been to Liberty and any particular things that you like from there. It would be really useful to know any brands that you guys could recommend because um, it's like a myriad of things inside. So, um, yeah, any any suggestions um, will be welcomed. So what I'll do is I'll start off with the first box. Um, so this is the branding of Liberty. Um, it's a gorgeous purple colour, purple and silver. So in this one, I'm trying to remember what I actually bought. Ah, that was it. So inside I got... Um, I think, with a little bit of branding. This was a company I'd heard of, I think through social media, actually. Actually, no, it wasn't. It was through, I think it was something like Dragon's Den or Shark Tank or something in the UK, um, where it's new businesses that are trying to obviously kind of get more kind of seed funding um, and helping for them to progress. That's where I first heard about these guys a few years back. And... It's it's um, something that I've been keen to try, but I can't actually get this product in New Zealand. So it was handy to go to Liberty and get them. And you will see in the gorgeous packaging, it is Love Coca, which, I mean, if anyone knows me, I love my chocolate, my biscuits. Um, and this is actually by, if you can see it, James Cadbury. Now I'll put some information on screen and a couple of pictures just to give you a better visual. Um, but James Cadbury is um, relative of the Cadbury brand. I'm not sure if he's like, um, a, I'm not sure if it's a nephew or a, um, it might even be like a grandson or something, um, but a relative uh, descendant from uh, the Cadbury franchise, the chocolate Cadbury franchise. Um, and this, these are the salted caramel biscuits with salted caramel pieces um, and milk chocolate coating, and it's 175 grams. I can't remember how much these were, but again, I'll put details in the description bar of the item um, and a link to Liberty as well. But I've never tried the brand, so I thought I'd give them a go, see what they're like. I can be quite fussy with my chocolate and um, kind of confectionery. But it's a decent size, and again, I love the packaging. Um, let's see if I can open it up. Let's give it a go. Oop. Ah, so you get a decent selection. They're quite big, actually. I thought they'd be a bit smaller. Um, oh, they smell lovely. I'm not going to eat them now, um, but I will follow up with you guys if, um, if they're really nice, and we'll go from there. Then also, let me just see what else I got. That's in the other 
bag. So this is another bag, Liberty bag. This is something I did actually need, really. Um, and if you're not familiar with Liberty, they're well known historically um, for their fabrics, their designs. Um, I think they started off with like rugs and um, you know soft furnishings with their design. Um, they've got a whole, so in, in Liberty, there's different levels in the building. And one of the levels is just purely amazing quality fabrics and the designs are just renowned. If I've got any images, I'll put them on screen in the corner just to give you a bit of an idea of what I'm referring to. But I really, really like um, their designs and their style. Uh, it's not for everyone. Um, they're not plain at all. There's usually uh, lots of bright colours, um, amazing textures and things. And off the back of that, I wanted to buy something. So yeah, so this is, um, again, beautiful packaging. Um, I will just try and see if I can take it off. Let's give it a go. Ah, okay. So as you open it up, now I think on the day they were running low on boxes and, and different size boxes, and they actually gave me a bigger box for the item that I purchased. Uh, which was great um, because I was traveling. I didn't want anything to get damaged um, and then a bit more, you know, extra stickers. So we'll just open that up. I slightly destroyed that then. That's fine. And then let's have a look. Oh, <laughs> and another parcel. This reminds me as a kid when I did like pass the parcel. And you'd open one layer and then you'd get some treats inside and then open the next layer. So this is this next layer, which is quite random. Um, I think this is the... I think this is it after this layer. Yeah, okay. So, um, so basically, this is what I got, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous Liberty A5 notebook. I mean, look at the design. I don't know if you can kind of see that. Oh, it's stunning, absolutely stunning. And I use a lot of notebooks for work, um, in, obviously stationery in general, um, but I just think it looks super elegant. I mean, look at that, it's, it's really lovely. And they have loads of different designs and styles. This one isn't a hardback, and um, you can get like quite rigid ring binder type notebooks, which a bit too cumbersome for me, especially when I'm traveling. Um, and it's aligned 136, a page notebook again you can get different sizes but this is ideal for like my handbag and things and I use them for work so I was jotting down notes and things from clients um, again just the coloring the coloring is just completely up my street really really lovely so what I'll do is I'll um, open it up again I can't remember how much this was but I think they're usually pretty affordable uh, I mean they're not the cheapest notebooks but they're actually not that bad in comparison to other kind of luxury department stores. Um, but again, I'll put the details in the strip description bar. But to give you an idea of what it looks like inside, so if we just take this sleeve, ah, the sleeve's just around the side. So as you open it up, you've just got, literally it's just the plain lined inside, which is, which is good. I don't like a plain notebook. I end up writing and it just kind of goes like this. I'm, I'm a nightmare for things like that. So having just a plain lined um, book is great. Um, and then you just obviously take this off and it's just attached on the inside. But actually I quite like the front of that. It's really nice. It's a nice kind of color. Um, but yeah, so that was it. Um, again, I wasn't in Liberty for that long, um, but there were those particular things I wanted to try. In particular, this brand. Um, I haven't tried before, so, um, I mean, who doesn't love biscuits, really? And, you know, with the heritage of uh, Cadbury, hopefully James Cadbury um, is a success. I mean, I think the business is going pretty well, to be honest. I've seen them in various other stores. I think they sell um, Love Coca in Harrods, and I actually think maybe even Harvey Nichols as well. So, I mean, they've got to be, that's got to be a good thing, really. But they are premium biscuits. It's not like you're just popping cross the road to get a Mars or a Snickers or something. Um, they are more on the kind of looks end. So that's why I wanted to give them a try. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you haven't seen the Liberty vlog, I'll link below and in the corner. 
Um, again, if you've not been, if you ever get the chance when you're in London, I thoroughly think you should check out London uh, Liberty Store. It's beautiful um, and you'll definitely find something you like. Um, but what I'll do is I'll leave it here. It would be great if you could subscribe to my channel. Um, it's a new channel and it would be really great if I could get the support. Um, I'm loving what I'm doing so far. I um, hope you guys are too. Um, if you want to comment on any of the videos um, and then in this video, if there's anything that you wanted me to check out um, and also kind of get your feedback on other things that you might want me to film. Um, I do travel a lot usually. Um, I am predominantly based in New Zealand at the moment. Um, that may change in the future. But um, if there are any places that um, you want me to check out, whether I'm back in the UK or not, it would be great to get your thoughts on it. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.